This is a glossary of terms used in Christianity. Topic A. Topic Advent, a season observed in many Western Christian churches, a time of expectant waiting and preparation for the celebration of the Nativity of Jesus at Christmas. Alma a girl who has reached puberty but is still under the shielding protection of her family. For theological reasons, the meaning and definition of this word especially the definition of virgin can be controversial, particularly when applied to Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Amen, the word Amen Hebrew, Amen modern, Amen, Tiberian, Amen, Arabic, Amen Amin, so be it, truly, is a declaration of affirmation found in the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament. It has always been in use within Judaism, and would find its way into Islam. It has been generally adopted in Christian worship as a concluding formula for prayers and hymns. Common English translations of the word Amen include, Verily, Truly. So be it. And. Let it be. It can also be used colloquially to express strong agreement, as in, for instance, Amen to that. Ancient of Days, a name for God in Aramaic, Atik Yeoman, in the Greek Septuagint, Paulios Hemeron, and in the Vulgate, Antiquus Dirum. Anno Domini AD, Latin term for year of the Lord, the Lord in this case being Jesus, by Christian reckoning, the Messiah. Due to Western dominance of the world, this has become the common world calendar system, though many cultures separately maintain their own calendars based on various events. Recently, the terms Common Era and Anno Mundi have come into use. Anointing, to pour or smear with perfumed oil, milk, water, melted butter or other substances. People and things are anointed to symbolize the introduction of a sacramental or divine influence, a holy emanation, spirit, power or God. Antichrist, in Christian eschatology, the Antichrist or Antichrist, has come to mean a person, another entity, or an image of a person, that is an embodiment of evil. The word, Antichrist, is translated from the combination of two ancient Greek words anti plus Christos, anti plus Christus, which can mean anti opposite of Christus, anointed, therefore, opposite of Christ, the meaning of Christ is the Anointed one, having become secondary to its meaning as the honorific of Jesus of Nazareth or anti, as, if, Christus, Messiah, thus, in place of Christ, or a substitute for Christ. Antilegomena, was an epithet used by the Church Fathers to denote those books of the New Testament which, although sometimes publicly read in the churches, were not, for a considerable amount of time, considered to be genuine, or received into the canon of Scripture. They were thus contrasted with the homologomena, from Greek homologomena, or universally acknowledged writings. Antinomianism, in theology, is the idea that members of a particular religious group are under no obligation to obey the laws of ethics or morality, and that salvation is by predestination only. Apocalypse, any prophetic revelation or so-called end-time scenario, or to the end of the world in general. Apostasy from Greek apostasia, meaning a defection or revolt, from apo, apo, away, apart. Stasis stasis, standing, is a term generally employed to describe the formal abandonment or renunciation of one's religion, especially if the motive is deemed unworthy. In a technical sense, as used sometimes by sociologists without the pejorative connotations of the word, the term refers to renunciation and criticism of, or opposition to, one. S. Former religion. Apostle, apostolos, apostolos. Someone sent out, e.g., with a message or as a delegate, were, according to the Synoptic Gospels and Christian tradition, disciples, followers, whom Jesus of Nazareth had chosen, named, and trained in order to send them on a specific mission. Apostolic age, traditionally the period of the twelve apostles, dating from the crucifixion of Jesus c. 26 to 36, and the Great Commission until the death of John the Apostle. Apostolic Decree, Acts chapter 15 verses 19 to 21 C Council of Jerusalem Aramaic, believed to be the primary language of Jesus. Ascension of Jesus, a Christian doctrine that says Jesus ascended to heaven in the presence of his eleven apostles following his resurrection, and that in heaven he sits at the right hand of God the Father. Atonement, a doctrine found within both Christianity and Judaism. It describes how sin can be forgiven by God. 
In Judaism, atonement is said to be the process of forgiving or pardoning a transgression. This was originally accomplished through rituals performed by a high priest on the holiest day of the Jewish year, Yom Kippur day of atonement. In Christian theology the atonement refers to the forgiving or pardoning of sin through the crucifixion of Jesus Christ which made possible the reconciliation between God and man. Within Christianity there are numerous technical theories for how such atonement might work, including the ransom theory, the Abelardian theory, the substitutionary atonement theory with its variations, and the Anselmian satisfaction theory. B. Topic. Baptism, baptism, Greek baptisma and baptismos, from baptizo, baptizo, immerse, perform ablutions, is a religious act of purification by water, usually associated with admission to membership or fullness of membership of Christianity. Bauer lexicon, the standard English lexicon of biblical Greek. Bible. Beelzebub. Blood of Christ. Body of Christ. Born again, Christianity. Born again virgin. Topic C. Topic Cafeteria Christianity. Charismania. Christ, the English term for the Greek word Christos, Christos, which literally means the Anointed One. The Hebrew word for Christ is Messiah, Messiah, usually transliterated Messiah. The word may be misunderstood by some as being the surname of Jesus due to the frequent juxtaposition of Jesus and Christ in the Christian Bible and other Christian writings. Often used as a more formal sounding synonym for Jesus, the word is in fact a title, hence its common reciprocal use Christ Jesus, meaning the Anointed One, Jesus. Christendom, in a cultural sense, it refers to the religion itself, or to the worldwide community of Christians, adherents of Christianity, or refer collectively to Christian-majority countries or countries in which Christian civilization dominates or nations in which Christianity is the established religion. Christian, a person who adheres to Christianity, a monotheistic religion centered on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ as presented in the New Testament and prophesied in the Old Testament. Christian Bible Church of the Holy Sepulchre, traditionally believed to be the site of Golgatha and the empty tomb. Circumcision controversy in early Christianity, Jesus and Paul and presumably the Jewish Christians were circumcised according to biblical tradition. The Council of Jerusalem made the practice optional for converts as is the case today among most Christians. Covenant biblical Creed Crucifixion darkness Crucifixion of Jesus Topic D. Topic Daily devotional Disposini Dispensationalism Divine law Dual covenant theology Topic E. Topic Early Christianity East-West Schism Easter, Easter, Pascha, or Resurrection Day, is an important religious feast in the Christian liturgical year. It celebrates the resurrection of Jesus, which Christians believe occurred on the third day after his crucifixion sometime in the period AD 27-33. Easter also refers to the season of the church year called Eastertide or the Easter season. Traditionally the Easter season lasted for the 40 days from Easter Day until Ascension Day but now officially lasts for the 50 days until Pentecost. The first week of the Easter season is known as Easter week or the octave of Easter. See also Easter controversy. Elect End time Eternal life Eternal sin Eucharist, also known as Communion, and the Lord's Supper. Evangelical councils Exorcism F Topic. Faith The fig tree, the tree and its fruit is mentioned several times in the New Testament, and in the Old Testament as well, but as more than just the common Mediterranean fruit tree, the common fig, it is also a symbol or type, subject to various interpretations. The parable of the barren fig tree is a parable of Jesus recorded in the Gospel of Luke chapter 13 verses 6-9. The parable has no parallels in other Gospels. 
A vinekeeper holds out hope that a barren fig tree will bear fruit next year. Fivefold Ministry Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse Topic. G Topic. Gnosticism God, most commonly refers to the deity worshipped by followers of monotheistic and monolatrist religions, whom they believe to be the creator and overseer of the universe. God-fearer Godhead God the Father God the Son Golden Gate Golden Rule, based on Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 and summarized by Hillel the Elder as, "...that which is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow," and considered the central teaching of the Torah. Summarized by Jesus as, "...do to others what you would have them do to you." Gospel, from the Old English for, "...good news." This refers to the good news concerning Jesus Christ. It can also refer to any one of the four canonical Gospels, named for their traditional authors, the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the Gospel according to St. Mark, the Gospel according to St. Luke, and the Gospel according to St. John. The word Gospel can also refer to the literal book which contains any one or all of these texts, which in High Church traditions may be decorated ornately and given special liturgical prominence. Grace Great Apostasy Great Commission H Hebrew Bible Hell Historical Jesus Holy Rood Holy Spirit Hosanna Hypostatic Union I Topic. Idolatry Incarnation, in traditional Christianity is the belief that the second person of the Trinity, also known as God the Son or the Logos word, became flesh, by being conceived in the womb of Mary, also known as the Theotokos birth giver to God or Mater Dei, Mother of God. Inri Intercession of the Spirit J Topic Jah Jehovah Jerusalem Jesus Jewish Christians, were the original members of the Jewish movement that later became Christianity. Jews Judaizers, those who teach that Christians must observe Jewish laws and customs. Judeo-Christian, a term used by many Christians since the 1950s to encompass perceived common ethical values based on Christianity and Judaism. K Topic. King James Only Movement Kingship and Kingdom of God Coin Greek, Greek of the New Testament and Septuagint L Topic. Last Judgment Last Supper Latter Rain Movement Disambiguation Law and Gospel Law of Christ Laying on of hands Legalism, in Christian theology, is the act of putting law above gospel by establishing requirements for salvation beyond repentance and faith in Jesus Christ and reducing the broad, inclusive and general precepts of the Bible to narrow and rigid moral codes. It is an over-emphasis of discipline of conduct, or legal ideas, usually implying an allegation of misguided rigor, pride, superficiality, the neglect of mercy, and ignorance of the grace of God or emphasizing the letter of law at the expense of the Spirit. Legalism is alleged against any view that obedience to law, not faith in God's grace, is the preeminent principle of redemption. Letter and Spirit of the Law Leviticus chapter 18 The section of scripture usually cited during debates about homosexuality. Logos Greek, logos logos, that is, word, discourse, or reason i.e., rationality or reasoning is a name or title of Jesus Christ, seen as the pre-existent second person of a Trinitarian God. 
It has been important in endeavoring to establish the doctrine of the divinity and morality of Jesus Christ and his position as God the Son in the Trinity by Trinitarian theologians as set forth in the Chalcedonian Creed. Lord's Day Lord's Prayer Love your enemies M Maranatha Marcionism Mark of the Beast Messiah False Messiah Messianism Messianic Age Messianic Judaism Monarchianism Mosaic Covenant Topic N Topic Nazarene Nazarite New Commandment New Covenant Hebrew, Bright Hedish Barat Hadasha, Greek, Diathik Cain Diathik Cain is used in the Bible both in the Hebrew Bible and the Greek New Testament to refer to an epical relationship of restoration and peace following a period of trial and judgment. As are all covenants between God and man described in the Bible, it is a bond in blood sovereignly administered by God. New Jerusalem New Testament sometimes called the New Covenant Translation of the Greek Cain Diathik. Western Christianity so names its Greek scriptures to distinguish them from the Hebrew scriptures. Old Testament. It consists of Gospels, Epistles, and the Apocalypse Revelation. The term New Covenant comes from 1 Cor. 11.25 and its parallel Luke chapter 22 verse 20 in which Jesus institutes the Christian Eucharist. New Wine into Old Wineskins Nicene Creed Number of the Beast Topic. O. Oblate Old Testament, name used by Western Christians for the Hebrew Scriptures to distinguish them from the Greek Scriptures, which they call the New Testament. In the New Testament the Hebrew Scriptures are simply denoted the Scriptures or the Holy Scriptures. Matt 2142, John chapter 5 verses 39, 2 Tim 3:15-16. Some Western Christians suggest a more neutral term, such as Hebrew Bible. Topic P. Topic Papal supremacy, Papal infallibility, Paraclete. Perusia, advent or appearance of the Messiah and the Messianic Age. The Passion Passover Christian holiday Paul the Apostle Pauline Privilege Pentarchy Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible, i.e. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, traditionally attributed to Moses, hence also the Mosaic Law. See also Samaritan Pentateuch. Pentecost Peshitta, the standard version of the Bible for churches in Syriac Christianity. Petrine privilege Pharisees – The Pharisees were at various times a political party, a social movement, and a school of thought in the Holy Land during the time of Second Temple Judaism 536 BCE to 70 CE. After the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 CE, Pharisaic beliefs became the foundational, liturgical and ritualistic basis for Rabbinic Judaism. Predestination, in theology, is the doctrine that all events have been willed by God, usually with reference to the eventual fate of the individual soul. Premillennialism, the belief that Jesus will physically return to the earth before the millennium, a literal thousand-year golden age of peace. Primacy of Simon Peter Propitiation, is the act of appeasing or making well-disposed a deity, thus incurring divine favor or avoiding divine retribution. Proselyte, an anglicization of the Koine Greek term proselytos, proselytos as used in the Septuagint Greek Old Testament for stranger, i.e. a newcomer to Israel, a sojourner in the land, and in the Greek New Testament for a first-century convert to Judaism, generally from ancient Greek religion. It is a translation of the biblical Hebrew phrase ger tub, ger tashiv. Topic Q. Topic. Quartodeciminism, part of the Easter controversy. Topic. 
R topic rabbinic rapture the belief that either before or simultaneously with the second coming of Jesus Christ to earth believers who have died will be raised and believers who are still alive and remain shall be caught up together with them the resurrected dead believers in the clouds to meet the lord in the air red letter christian redemption reformed remas allegory from greek allos allos other and agoruin agoruin to speak in public is a figurative mode of representation conveying a meaning other than the literal. Generally treated as a figure of rhetoric, but an allegory does not have to be expressed in language, it may be addressed to the eye, and is often found in realistic painting, sculpture or some other form of mimetic, or representative art. In allegorical representations, relationships between elements of a text or composition are understood to stand for different relationships between elements not found in the text or composition. Meaning is thus constituted through the difference between the superficial or literal meaning of the text or composition and a deeper meaning. In Jewish thought, this method is best known through the works of Philo. The extreme form of Remas, Saad, understands the Tanakh as an allegory for a mystical understanding of the universe and as a means for mystical communion with God. This approach is best known through Kabbalistic texts such as the Zohar. Traditionally, only Jews who have mastered the Midrashic method and the corpus of Halakha are encouraged to pursue this form of interpretation. In Christianity this method was first promoted by St. Paul. Resurrection Righteousness Topic. S Topic. Sabbath in Christianity Sabbath in Seventh-day Churches, Sabbath is generally a weekly religious day of rest as ordained by the Ten Commandments. Originally denoting a rest day on the seventh day of the week, the term, Sabbath, has acquired the connotation of a time of communal worship and now has several meanings in Christian contexts. Sacrament Saint Peter Salvation Sanctification Satan Second Coming Septuagint Sermon on the Mount Sermon on the Plain Seven Laws of Noah, according to Judaism, these are the laws applicable to non-Jews, some see a connection to the Apostolic Decree of the Council of Jerusalem. Shahina Shema Yisrael, in Mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 34 Jesus refers to the Shema as the first commandment in importance. Sin Original sin Eternal sin Son of God Son of man Son of perdition Sons of God Spirit of God Star of Bethlehem Suffering servant Sunday school answer Supersessionism Topic. T. Topic. Ten Commandments. Testament. Old Testament. New Testament. Tetragrammaton. Transfiguration. Transubstantiation. Trilemma. Trinity, used as a synonym for God, in order to call attention to the three distinct persons which share the single divine nature or essence. They are traditionally referred to as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, though some modern sects prefer more gender-neutral terms such as Creator, Redeemer and Sustainer. Zitzit, scholars think Jesus wore the zitzit, see Christianity and fringed garments for details. Topic. V Topic. Via Dolorosa The Vine Veronica Vocation Topic W Topic Walk with God Western Schism Whore of Babylon Topic Why Topic Yahweh Yeshua, spelled Yeshua in Hebrew, a common name among Jews of the Second Temple period, and known to be the name used for Jesus by Messianic Jews and Hebrew Christians. Topic Z. Topic Zionism. 
Topic. See also. Topic. Christian culture. Christianity in popular culture. Names and titles of Jesus in the New Testament. Topic. References. Topic. <references>